now that the coronavirus infection rate and death rate has slowed down somewhat now that so many of us have been stuck in our homes for two months or so and have had plenty of time to think to meditate to ponder now that there's so much talk about vaccine and antiviral drugs to treat this coronavirus pandemic, <laughs> what will we learn from this crisis? Because every crisis that we experience as individuals, as families, as communities, as humanity, we must learn. We must learn vital lessons uh, in order for all of this to have any positive impact on our world on us so what will we learn what will we, what would we have learned from this experience what will we take with us to help us in the future i hear a lot of talk about vaccines and drugs and um racial disparities and and this uh uh, disease taking the lives of more men, more people of color, poorer people, uh, people in high density population. Yeah, all of those are facts, factual data. But what will we learn going forward? Why? Have we had such bad outcome from this pandemic? You know, we will always have um, these pandemics. We will all have, have we will always have these viruses and these germs, as it were, to affect mankind. But I believe that if our bodies are in good condition before we are hit with these germs, these bacteria, these viruses, if we are already in good shape, we have a fighting chance to survive and even do well after being infected by this virus or any other virus that will come in the future. Because germs are always, always coming around. Uh, viruses are always coming around. Okay? But how will we survive them? What, what can we do to give ourselves a fighting chance to survive and even thrive through the coronavirus or any other virus that will come around in the future. Okay? We cannot rely on government to help us. We cannot rely, obviously, and we cannot rely on a healthcare system to help us. They have failed. They failed us, okay? People were sick. They fell sick. They turned up at the hospital and they were turned away. They were denied care, okay? These people went home and died, young, middle, and old. So, of course, we, can't, we cannot rely on government. We cannot rely on the healthcare system. We have to take care of ourselves, okay? 
And the best way to take care of ourselves is to be in the best physical, emotional, psychological, and spiritual state that we can be. Take care of number one, as they would say. Eat the healthiest that you possibly can. Research, research, research. Read. There's a lot of information online, a lot of information in books, okay, that will help us to guide us and show us how to eat the healthiest, how to lead the healthiest lifestyle. We must eat better. We must maintain good weight. Okay? We need to exercise on a regular basis. We need to get good sleep and lower our stress level. We must learn to relax and not worry about the things that we cannot change. And the things that we can change, we go ahead and change them. But we must take care of ourselves. The system has failed us once again in health care. And all they try to do is push drugs and push drugs and push drugs on us. Vaccine to me is not the answer. Okay, because all these vaccines, they come with a whole lot of negative side effects anyway. So to me, that's not the answer. Drugs is not the answer to me because they come with a lot of side effects. More people die. So many people die every year from adverse reaction to drugs. But you don't really hear that being talked about on the media. Okay, but we must take our health and our well-being in our own hands we cannot rely on the system on the government to take care of us so we must take decide that you know what i'm gonna do whatever it takes to get healthy and stay on a healthy path so that whatever might come my way i will have a fighting chance that is my decision and I encourage everyone to make that decision. Because the bottom line is that when we get sick and suffer, we're sick and we're suffering by ourselves. Look how many people died it, with this coronavirus in hospitals and their loved ones could not even be there holding their hands. Speaking a word of encouragement as they transition out of this world. So yeah. We're going to take charge of our own health and not rely on anyone else. So let's start today by eating healthy. I have a lot of information on my channel that will help people to make healthier choices, to eat healthy, to meditate, to exercise, and to decrease your stress level. It's our life. It's my life. And I have to take charge of it. I cannot rely on anyone else to do so. And today is the day. Now is the time. Start today. Take baby steps. Okay, Rome wasn't built in a day. So no one should expect to make changes overnight. Start by taking baby steps. Eventually you will get on board and you will learn what to do and what not to do as you do your own research and your own reading. But today is the day to make the change. Okay? Take care now.